the whole yeah project restart, the testing regimes that clubs were expected to go through. Yeah, that was one of the things that got me in trouble actually. <laughs> when they were trying to restart, they were every week they were testing all the clubs and all the staff. All the, every week they would have a an announcement saying, you know, we've tested this many people and we've had this many positive cases, and um, and that the Premier League did that. And then, so nobody, they wouldn't tell you where those cases had come from. Like it just went, there's been like six, six positives. And then the only way you would find out who those positives were, which clubs they were at, is if the clubs themselves actually held their hand up and went, yeah, four of those were from us. Right. And, um, and I started to see a pattern. So they would, they would go, right, there's six positive cases this week. And then the day after that, the club that, had those positive cases we go yeah uh, those six were from us but not every club did it uh, the only clubs that were doing it and holding their hands up and going yes it was ours were the clubs that were in the bottom three <laughs> or mm-hmm. just above the bottom three right and I was like oh, yeah I remember, I remember that now. that's interesting <laughs> yeah. yeah and it was all these and I so I just went on social media again and uh, and I just put isn't it a coincidence that the only teams that are admitting to having positive cases are teams that are in the bottom three or just above it like obviously intimating that um they didn't really want the season to start again you yeah. know they wanted another year of the premier league money clearly yeah and so uh so I I just, liverpool weren't saying any cases at that, that time. exactly <laughs> <laughs> so so i was like so I, I just left it hanging there and then i got a phone call from the uh head of football at sky and he went matt we've had a complaint about you and i went all right who's that from you know one of the chief executives at one of the football clubs, I think it was Bournemouth actually, and uh, and I went, all right, well, what's the problem? He went at that tweet that you put out yesterday. I said, all right, yeah, yeah. What about the about the teams in the relegation zone? He went, yeah. I went, have you got it there? He said, yeah, I've got it in front of me. I said, can you read it to me? So he read it, and I went, can you tell me what's factually incorrect about that tweet? And he and he paused and he went. Uh, Nothing really. <laughs> you go. And I went, yeah. there you go. I said, so what are you ringing me for? <laughs> and he went, he went well, we, we've well, I've had to ring because we've had a complaint. I went, well, what's, what I've written is factually correct. I said, so don't expect me to delete it, take it down. I said, because there's nothing wrong with it. About six weeks later, I was sacked. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like that clip, you can catch the full episode here and you can subscribe to the channel here.